Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you all. I hope that you've had a fantastic time celebrating the festive season as I know I have. Today I'm going to be showing you what I got for Christmas as it was a very highly requested video over on my TikTok. So if you want to see what gifts I received this year, just keep on watching. However, I do feel like I should make just a small disclaimer. No, I'm not trying to brag. I feel very fortunate and forever grateful for all the gifts I have received. And I understand that some people are not as fortunate as me. And therefore I do want to express that I extend my best Christmas wishes at this time to all of those around the world who may not be as fortunate this time of year. So without further ado, this is what I got for Christmas. And just quickly before we begin, obviously I got plenty of sweets and chocolate, but I'm not going to show you all of that because one, I've already eaten a lot of it, and two, we would be here twice as long, so I'm just going to show you a few little sweet bits that I thought were really cool. Okay, where to start? Because I've got quite a hefty pile here and I know that we're going to be here a while, so I'm just going to get through them as quickly as possible, I'm not going to ramble too much, so that way I don't keep you for all of 2022. Take a quick sip and let's go. Also, fingers crossed, I'm not the worst human being in the world and I actually remember who got me all of these presents. So my plan is to start with like friends presents and then like, you know, extended family and then close family and whatever. And we'll just, I'll just pick from the pile. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. So to start off with, my friend Lucy from work got me this amazing forest green Disney hoodie. I am obsessed with it. It's literally me in a hoodie. It's forest green. It's an oversized hoodie and it says Disney on it. I mean, I'm obsessed. So moving on, another one of my friends from work, Jasmine, um, she actually got me some chocolate as well, which I've already eaten and some Whitley Neal raspberry gin, which obviously I have not opened yet, which I'm excited to try because I don't think I've actually drunk that before. Um, she also got me some Love Hearts strawberry wax melts. I love a good old wax melt and my sister owns a wax melt company, so how fitting. And finally, some more chocolate. Sticking with work presents, my boss got me a makeup bag with some little pink flamingos on it and I believe it came with a little number seven uh, mini travel brush set which I thought was really cute and from another one of my friends at work Jess she got me a little cracker that had some kinder chocolate in it how adorable um, alongside a drumstick squashies raspberry candle just look how cute that is and it smells amazing. I'm one of those weird people when it comes to candles. I love sickly sweet smells so that is perfect. Also a little bubblegum candy cane because can't go wrong. I love a candy cane. And of course some more chocolate which I have already eaten. A lot of my friends got me like Oreo chocolate because they know that's my favourite so naturally it did not last two seconds. Uh, sticking with friends from work another one of my friends Kaylee got me uh, a Harry Potter rock creative like painting set isn't it so cool i thought it was so sick when i opened it um just she was like oh i'm thinking outside the box with presents so i don't know if you're gonna like it and do you know what i actually think is really cool and i love it um i think it comes with the rocks because it feels pretty hefty if not i know where i can obviously get them and uh it comes with like little stickers and paints and i just thought that was really cool so clearly they listen because they know i like harry potter Moving right along, at work we all did like a massive secret Santa and my secret Santa did so well, like I'm impressed. So first of all I got some pastel colouring pencils um, because they know how artistic I am and if you didn't know that then yes I love to draw and I love to paint etc as you can now see. Alongside the pencils they also got me an A4 drawing sketch pad but I don't have that to hand right now because it must be hidden in one of my drawers but I thought that that was really cool. And I actually did need a new one of those, so that was really handy. She also got me some Lip Smacker lip balms. Uh, it's got Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola Vanilla, Fanta and Sprite. Uh, she also got me some Harry Potter chocolate. I already ate the chocolate frog, but there's also a little Hedwig in there, which is it's adorable. Um, also, there's still more, a Ted Baker regal eyes gift set which is absolutely stunning uh, so it has an eyeshadow palette i believe they are eye crayons i want to say i haven't actually taken a proper look at them yet uh, a mascara and an eyeliner pen which i actually needed another one of and i've had the ted baker one before and it was actually quite good 
so yeah that's a cute little gift and the last thing that i got in my secret santa present uh is a harry potter cauldron mug i mean just look how adorable that is can you see that i'm gonna quickly get it out of the box so you can see it how long is this gonna take me to get in here just look at how cute it is i think i'm gonna put it on my shelf if it's not too heavy um yeah look it has the little stands and it says harry potter on the side and i just think that's adorable i mean one part of me really wants to drink from it and have hot chocolates in it but the other part's like no it's too beautiful don't ruin it like that put it on your shelf on display so i guess we shall see so moving right along um sticking with friend presents these ones are cool because <laughs> my best friend in the whole wide world amy got me some brilliant presents okay they're, they're just so basically like a couple weeks ago we um went out for food together and we went shopping and i did you know the typical girl thing you know walking around the shop and going oh my god that's so cute oh my god i love that and she must have noted down everything or every other thing that i touched because she bought it okay right let me just show you because they're really really cool also um just a quick little side note she works at vans and she gave me my presents in a vans bag it's a fresh vans bag as well so cute gift bag there love it anyway so the first thing is absolutely stunning and i'm so so excited i haven't tried it on yet but i'm really excited too when i can get it out properly is a gorgeous brown satin top from h&m look at that it doesn't look like much now right but oh, you just wait you'll obviously see it on my instagram at some point it's got like beautiful puff sleeves like the pirate sort of thing which she knows i love and like the whole princess kind of collar with the frills oh it's so pretty i can't i cannot wait to wear that i'm so i'm so excited so yeah so she got me that um, I could literally talk about that top forever. It is so dreamy. It also got me a couple of pairs of socks. Uh, she got me this glittery, kind of soft, can you see that? Uh, like soft wool pair, is it wool or cotton? I never really know the difference, but they've got like a slight sparkle to them. I don't know if that's showing off on camera, but those poking out of some little ankle boots would look very adorable. Sticking with glittery socks as well, she got me these ones you can definitely see that look how cool they are and she got the same but with like black glitter so it's like you know we're twinning like yin and yang i love it they're so cool and they're slightly mesh as well just these with some cool heels or like some mary janes or something i'm in love uh she also got me these really beautiful like i call them gingerbread man gloves because i don't really know what they're actually called um this, that's what they remind me of you know like an iced gingerbread man but yeah they're look they're so cool and they're really really soft as well like they've got that like faux sherpa lining and i have a feeling they're going to keep my hands very warm and they're also very stylish uh she also got me because these oh my god this is so cool and i literally like scream when i saw them when i properly took a look at them uh from urban outfitters these pink butterfly tights i mean just look how look how beautiful they are i'm obsessed and i cannot wait to try them on they're gonna look so cool with like my pink and purple corset and like a pink frilly skirt or something the princess vibe will be complete with these they are divine and i've never actually seen them before so it was a nice surprise and finally she also got me a cute little silver claw clip because she knows that i literally don't do anything else with my hair other than put it in one of these so it's safe to say my friend amy did very very well now we are moving on to presents from my family so from my brother tom and his fiance and my nephews they got me just a small little something uh they got me some little cherry socks of course you know some cherry and a cute little penguin cup as well which is super adorable another one to add to the collection and then from my other brother, his wife and my nieces, uh, they also got me some socks. There's a bit of a sock theme going on. I never mentioned I had a drought of them, but 
I, I'm not complaining though, because I love a good pair of socks. They got me these little naughty and nice socks, aren't they just adorable? I'm pretty sure I've used cute and adorable to describe everything, but that's, that's what they are. They also got me something really, really cool. A Harry Potter Slytherin pen. Of course you can't go wrong. And my niece actually picked this out for me and she's been getting into Harry Potter at the moment as well, like both of my nieces. And I could not be more happy that they are taking on this legacy. Speaking of Harry Potter, who likes my jumper? It says Scared Potter on it and it says uh, Draco and Malfoy on the sleeves. And if you want one, head over to JJ Customs. Anyway, uh, yeah, they got me a cute little Slytherin pen. And they also got me a Starbucks cup. The one where the little sprinkles change colour. And they got it personalised. It says cherry on it, XOXO. Gossip girl. Sorry, just had to. And a little rainbow straw. I just think it's adorable. It's my personality in a Starbucks cup. Do you know what I'm saying? That was from my brother, his wife and my nieces. So thank you very much for them. I just do a couple little small things from my aunt and uncle and uh, my cousin. They just gave me uh, £20 just because it's so much easier to just give me a bit of money for Christmas. That way I can buy what I really want. So, you know, love that. And sticking with that sort of thing, my sister also got me um, a £30 Blue Water gift card, which she put in brackets, I should spend in Zara. So, you know, when duty calls, it looks like I'm gonna have to head over to Zara sometime soon and claim my 30 pounds. Now I'm pretty sure we are just in um, close family presents, like from my two sisters and my parents that live with me. So let's get into it. I said I wasn't gonna show much like sweets and stuff, but these are just, they're a little bit extra, you know? So from my sister, Amy, she got me um, some huge rhubarb sweets and literally I love these things like when children used to have birthdays in primary school and they'd bring in like a big bag of sweets if they bought in these ones the green packets of like the little ah oh, yeah happy birthday to you I'm gonna have one because I really want one I also remember when I'd go around like the corner shop and he would have these and they'd be like 1p and I get like a million of them, you know? They taste amazing. So I love that for me. Also I have some Smarties on the go as well. These are also from my sister Amy. Again, staying with my sister Amy, because we might as well get all of her presents um, in one. She got me a little sweetie hamper with loads of like old sweets that we used to love when we was um, kids. You know, like uh, golf balls and like jaw breakers, snot shots, don't even get me started. And, you know, just all of those sort of sweets that we would go around the corner shops specifically for. So, yeah, cute little hamper of that. And she left the price on. Naughty girl. But there's actually a funny story behind this box. Is uh, It's from B&M, obviously. And me and my sisters were in B&M and we, we all saw it and we were like, ah. Oh, that would be a really cool Christmas present for you. So we all picked up a box and we all wrapped it up for each other for Christmas. Tell a lie, actually. I got my one and I think Amy got hers. But my sister Emily, yeah, we all ate hers together collectively like a couple weeks ago. We were like, one of us is just not going to have it. So Emily didn't get hers for Christmas, but I did. Amy also got me some more bed socks because I've been saying recently that literally all of my fluffy socks either have pink or blue in them and it's just not quite my vibe at the moment. I just wanted some that were a bit more neutral tone that would go with everything. I know they're just fluffy socks but to me they mean that a little bit more. So she got me two brown packs or you know nude, nudie brown, whatever you want to say, two packets of them so I'm not going to run out. Then, still keeping with my sister Amy, she got me quite a lot. I'm forever grateful she got she got me amazing presents this year. Um, the next thing she got me, which I'm so excited about, I'm li literally like, I'm getting so excited about it now. She got me a Slytherin Quidditch jumper. Ah! Like, I have wanted this for so long. I was going to buy it for myself a few months ago, but I just never did. And then we went to the Harry Potter studios and I was going to buy it there, but they didn't have my size. 
so she got it for me for Christmas and oh it is beautiful absolutely beautiful and just uh, now I can say that I've stole Draco Malfoy's Quidditch jumper the POVs are coming you know what I'm saying she clearly listened I actually made like a proper list this year and my family pretty much stuck to the list so thanks they took a couple detours but they were good detours so I'm happy so yeah she got me the Slytherin Quidditch jumper she did say that she tried to get me a cloak as well but she just they were all sold out on the website and she couldn't get the right size blah 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 I was like don't stress don't worry about it you've got me you got me my jumper it's cool and to be fair I'll probably get more wear out of this than the cloak anyway I plan to wear this um when I go to Harry Potter Studios again with like a little like black skirt and some black boots or something it just it'll look so cool and finally I think this is the last thing from Amy my sister um she got me a Harry Potter Slytherin blanket I actually saw this a couple weeks ago in Primark and I was again gonna get it for myself but I thought no it's right on top of Christmas someone is gonna afford to get that for me and she did a little last minute spur of the moment present for me as she said and yes, I'm obsessed. I am definitely going to be sleeping with this tonight. So just quickly before I move on, I'm just going to show you what was in my Christmas Eve box because me and my family have started to make this a tradition for the last few years that we all do each other Christmas Eve boxes. Like my mum will make um, me and my two sisters one and then this year we, like me and my sisters come together and made my mum and dad one. It was just really special and it was really nice, you know, because we never used to do it when we was younger. We used to get like a like a present or something at the end of our bed when we woke up in the morning. And now we've stopped that. We've brought in this new tradition where we do Christmas Eve boxes and they're just really fun, you know, it builds the excitement the night before. In case you can't tell, I am obsessed with Christmas. So yeah. Anyway, this is my Christmas Eve box. Isn't that just absolutely adorable? I love it. I love it anyway so um we got we all got matching pajamas in our christmas eve box um mine just went in the wash obviously because i've had them on for like the last couple of days you don't you don't get dressed around christmas that does not happen so this is very very rare anyway um i got some more cozy socks brown tone as well so yeah another person who listened um some cotton pads because i'm always running out along with some micellar water thank you i was just about to actually run out of this as well uh, we always get a scratch card and i also got a little shower loofah so i love that because my other one is actually quite battered and i should have got a new one by now but now i don't have to so i love that uh, normally in my christmas eve box like my mum will put like a dvd or something like that or at least she has done for the past couple years but we don't really use dvds anymore you know because we're always on like netflix or disney plus so i like that she found something else just as decent to put in the boxes but now moving on to my sister emily so she got me apologies the box is pretty battered i don't know what the delivery driver did when he was giving this to her um must have kicked it over a fence or something but she got me some Nike trainers. They are running trainers, in fact. Uh, I did actually ask for these, so thank you so much, Emily, for getting me them. Because I decided I'm gonna unfreeze my gym membership and get back in the gym and get active and fit. I'm not prepared for that, I'm not gonna lie. After all I've eaten over Christmas, um, it's gonna be a bit of a shock to the system. I have no doubt, but I have some nice new running trainers to give me some motivation. So hopefully I will want to do it. Um, so I think in the new year, I'm going to have to treat myself to some nice gym gear. So I've got, you know, I'm all like newly decked out to go to the gym. We'll see. She also got me a massive jar of golf balls. The little, the little gumballs. Um, I showed you them just now, like a little packet in the sweet hamper. Yeah that's what these are these were one of my favorite like gumball jawbreaker sweets when i was younger like me and my sister both loved them so i'm really excited with this i'm gonna demolish these very very quickly and i got her like a massive box of jawbreakers as well like the tropical ones because she's been obsessed with them for the last few weeks so um yeah just look at them i don't know if anyone else has ever eaten these but they taste so good 
Makes me feel like I haven't aged today, but I definitely have. Um, anything else? Oh yeah, also my sister Emily got me a perfume because I actually just ran out of, I think the last perfume I own. That's bad. At one point I had a huge collection of perfumes and now they're all just starting to die out on me. So couldn't have come at a better time. And it's one of the FM perfumes, I think they're called. And it is in Bottega Ven... Bottega Venta? Ven Ventia? Something along those lines, but it smells amazing. Oh, yeah. It smells absolutely divine. So I'm so glad that she got me that. And I actually wore it today and I can still smell it, actually. Wow, that is that's strong and actually very long lasting. So I'm really happy with that. I finally have a new, hopefully signature scent. I think that's all that she got me. So now it's just what my parents got me and trust me, they did really, really well. So for one, they got me some new boots, which I have been looking at for a few months in Primark and luckily I got them, which is these just, oh, I mean, they're gorgeous you know and actually my sister got the same pair as well and it's really funny because I actually got these exact shoes for my best friend last year for Christmas so you know we've come full circle haven't we yeah it's just some chunky Chelsea boots super comfy as well Primark really know how to do a heel they, they really do and they make them super comfy so I'm excited to wear those and sticking with shoes as well they also got me um these which I asked for many a time. These are from Ego and they are a dupe for the Bottega towel sliders. Hmm. Weird smell. Hmm. But yeah, aren't they just adorable? I love this colour at the moment. This whole Bottega like Kelly Green. Um, I have a lot of clothes in this colour. I think, you know, it complements my brown hair and my blue eyes. I don't know. You tell me. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Either way, they are just they're so cool and they're really soft actually i haven't worn them yet so i'm excited to put these on my feet also for my parents i got a few uh, little things so for one i got and this is so cool and we're just going to collectively ignore the patchy fake tan on my finger i don't know what happened tanning oil it's very hard to work with I got a Loki ring. Look how adorable that is. Is it going to focus? Should I get out of the shot? Is it going to focus? Just look how beautiful that is. And as you can see um, on the top ring, it says for Loki in the middle. It's just absolutely gorgeous. The rings kind of slot together so you can choose if you don't want to wear all three. I prefer a bigger, bulkier ring. So this is literally perfect for me. But it's so pretty. Uh, sticking with little things, my parents also got me, I'm so excited about this one, a Pirates of the Caribbean medallion. Look at that. Isn't it so cool? And this will kind of go with like my pirate aesthetic outfit. If you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, you know what outfit I'm talking about. You know, like the puff uh like the puff sleeve white shirt with like my brown corset and my black leather skirt and then putting this on it ah how cool would that look i love it i i asked for this a couple months ago actually i think or like a couple weeks ago i don't know and um yeah my wish came true i've wanted one of these for actually so long as well and pirates of the caribbean is something that i've literally loved since i can remember so this just feels very nostalgic and just very very cool to have so yeah i've got my own medallion i also now this is this is so exciting and these are so cool and i was lit i literally like screamed when i opened them because i'm so excited i finally have a pair of edith glasses oh my god i'm so excited about these they're the tony stark edith glasses even dead i'm the hero look at that oh my god they're so cool Wake up, daddy's home. <clears throat> Jarvis, drop my needle. I know he doesn't technically say those lines when he's wearing the glasses, but you get the point, okay? Oh, they're just so cool. I, 
I literally, I love them. I love them so much. So yeah, I am super excited about that. And I guess this means I'm gonna have to start a little Marvel shelf in my room and make a little Marvel photo collage, you know, much like this one, which I have been meaning to expand and I definitely shall. So the last thing that I have to show you that I got for Christmas, which is probably my favorite present. It was my main present from my parents. I have literally been asking for these for God knows how long. I got the Slytherin House edition book collection of Harry Potter. Ah! They're literally, they are beautiful. They come in this gorgeous box, which can I, oh, can I just say is really heavy and I'm really struggling with this. Just look at it. It has the little snakes on the front. <coughs> just cry myself. Let's try that again. It has these gorgeous snakes on the front and you open up the two little doors. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, you uh, you won't be able to see me while I'm talking about this, but look at these gorgeous, pristine books. I haven't actually pulled one out of the box yet because I'm too scared to, because I don't want to ruin them because they're so pretty. But I just thought, at least if I'm going to have the books, I want like a nice edition that will look good on display when I'm not reading them, you know, of course. And I saw a few people on TikTok had this set and I just, I really, really wanted it. And I think it also has a, like little illustrations and stuff in the book covers or on the book covers, I don't know. This was literally my favorite present. So yeah, I'm really excited to um, get those out and read them. I'm, I just, I'm so excited in case you can't tell, I'm grinning from ear to ear. So I'm pretty sure that is all of the presents that I got this year for Christmas. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I'm sorry it was such a long video, but we knew it was gonna be. Um, I hope that you enjoyed and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe as usual down below um, if you haven't already because as you know it is much appreciated. I am so thankful and grateful for all of the presents that I received this year and can I just say that everyone who did get me a gift did extremely well. They've done me proud and I'm very very excited and happy to um, use all of my stuff. We'll see you in my next video, whatever that may be. Maybe in the new year. I I don't know. Or if I do one before then, I doubt it. But um, you know what I'm like. But that is my New Year's resolution to be more consistent with my YouTube uploads. We'll see how long that lasts. But I'm hoping it lasts longer than a week. I don't know. So, yeah. Merry Christmas. Have a happy new year. And I will see you very soon.